Hey guys and girls, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Unleashed with myself, Lewis. Hope you're brilliant and very, very well, as always. We are back, and I am in the middle of charging my power fist, or my is it power claw? Power fist. Power fist. Yeah, I'm in the middle of charging it up. It seems since the last time that I used any of the MMP stuff, it's actually been massively buffed, or nerfed, however you want to put it, really. Uh, it's actually a lot harder to do stuff now, because this guy is uh, normally in a generator from the last time I did this, this, this guy would fly up. Uh, but I think because we have it on like a level 1 like EU input, it's actually really, really slow. And it is chugging through my coal badly. So we're going to have to, uh, you know, there's a lot. Like 355k out of 5m. Like that's an insane amount. Insane in the membrane. So we're going to have to look at a better way to get this guy powered. But before we really do anything else, there's quite a few things that we need to be check a leck in that uh, you know have a few things to do and the first thing I want to actually do is go over to the uh, our enemy tree yeah our uh, our spruce of badness and I want to nick some of his bark because so many guys have been like saying that we need to give ourselves like a secret door and I've never made a secret door out of the bark wood I don't want to do it out of this one because you know he's uh this is our tree yeah the best tree Oh, I love you, tree. So we're gonna go nick it from our enemy tree. You know, we're like the aphid to his uh, to his small bush. Like <laughs> we are the bad bug. So we're gonna go nick some of that stuff and grab, uh, you know, grab some of his uh, good things so we can go ahead and make a door. Sounds good to me. And then we're gonna go and hmm, we're probably gonna go and make some more machines and harvest a few bits and bobs. So we're in kind of a bit of better of a state to be making some things. And I'm gonna grab some of these lovely juicy berries. Yes, I am. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Should we take some of these, actually? I might take some, because I could do with making, like, a load more of these around the house. Yeah. Lovely jubbly. Oh, if you haven't noticed, I've got a new skin as well. I got a little bit bored. I got, I was, uh, you know, it's just one of those days. You know, you just don't know what to do with yourself. Um, I was like that, and I thought, hey, I, I'm going to make a new skin. Why not? I've never made a Minecraft skin before. So I thought I would try one out, and I'll try and use, like, kind of make it a little bit appropriate to the channel and whatnot. So this is what we came up with. Let me go into uh, this mode. Yeah. Oh, my God. Look at the power fist on my back. It's like one of those giant hands you put in the hair, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Yeah, let's get rid of some of this, and I'll show you what I mean. See, look. Check me out. Yeah. Pretty cool, right? We've got the little uh, Geeks logo on there on the T-shirt. We've got the glasses. And uh, I'm wearing my free quarter lamps that I'm pretty much living, and my funky shoes, and uh, I've got my, my wicked headphones on. Yeah, loving it. Oh yeah, I even use the whole hat thing so we actually have some like three-dimensional hair. Pretty cool, right? I love it. I'll probably be putting the download for that in the uh, description bar, you know, so if you guys want to check it out, you can. Oh yeah. I think the reason behind it as well is uh, we're actually going to start doing some stuff on some bigger servers soon. So we're gonna be starting doing like, you know, we'll go on the hive and things like that. And I'll probably be uh, looking to play with a load of you guys. I've been speaking to some people about it. And I think that it'd be a good idea to have a skin that people are gonna be able to easily recognize. So having the, um, you know, having the shirt probably makes it easier for you guys to recognize me. Cause I haven't seen anyone with a shirt like that. So I think it's a little bit easier. Yeah, should we put our stuff back on? It's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Sweet, right, let's go grab some of this funky wood from our enemy tree. And then we'll make our way back to base and see what this uh, door looks like. We should probably grab a few things while we're out and about as well. It is pretty much morning. At least I think it's morning. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much morning, yeah. I can feel the uh, wind in the air. <laughs> yeah, I can feel it in the wind. Is that another spider tree? That looks like a spider tree. Huh, there's a spider tree. No. Hmm. Looks like it should be. Oh well. Okay, right. This is the enemy tree. This one is called Helga. From now on, the enemy tree is going to be known as uh, Helga because uh, it's just it's not a. Uh, I, I associate that with a with a bad tree name. <laughs> but we'll take a load of these guys, and then we can uh, make our funky door. Yeah. And we're going to grab some. Hmm. Is it around here somewhere? We need to get some clay. We're going to need quite a bit of it as well. Ah, clay, yeah. Let's grab some of this. So we're going to need quite a bit of clay because I want to make a, uh, a coke oven. 
purely because I was quite happy using the regular coal, but seeing as the uh, the power suit stuff is taking absolutely donkey's years to do anything when charging, I want to get some more coal so we can build a coal coke oven, and then with that, we'll be able to go ahead and uh, you know we'll be able to uh, get an additional uh, charge out of it because the coal coke's a little bit better than regular coal. Uh, it just burns a bit better, so we'll do that, and then we should be able to last a little bit longer with the coal that we've got because I keep finding that I am running out of coal quite quickly, and. I'm pretty lazy in the fact that I don't like going down mining continuously, <laughs> forever, I just get bored. Oh no, there's loads of stuff here, yeah, let's grab all this. Nice, huh, rolling in clay, love it. Oh, I'm going to start drowning, nope, not today, sweet. Yeah, so once we've built our coal coke oven, then we can go and do some more machines, because we need to uh, get a better way of cooking all our things. Um, re using regular furnaces in like an FTB pack is pretty much not allowed, <laughs> at least for the first like 10 minutes. So I think I've well overdone my welcome, and uh, yeah, it's probably a good idea to... Oh, damn, my thing broke. Can we use our fist? Yeah, we can. There we go. Brilliant. And maybe we should grab some more just in case. I think all this is going in my miner's backpack. Nope, it's going in my digger's backpack. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we got quite a bit, actually. I guess a little bit more won't help. We just grab a tiny bit more. A tinsy tiny bit more. And then we'll be set for the next few episodes. Sounds brilliant to me. Hmm, is there any more around here? This is where we came from. Doesn't look like it. All right, we'll make our way back, and I think we'll find some on the way back. I know there's some little streams kind of lying around where we was. Uh, there might be a little bit more down here as well. Hmm, I don't see none. Ah, there's some. Let's use our power fist. Yeah. Lovely jubbly. So I've been thinking of uh, some plans. Some, yeah, well, I've been trying to get plans together of what we want to do. And I think it's a good idea that we go with some of the mods that we've never really done before. Once we've got ourselves... Kind of, wow, it was so quick. Once we've got ourselves kind of situated, you know, set up, ready to go, and once we've done that, we can then start experimenting a little bit more with uh, some of the new things. So we've got dark craft, we've got uh, a lot of the forestry add-ons, which some people don't like to play with, so we'll have a little mess around with those guys, and we have uh, uh, farm craft, we've got a uh, farm tinker, we've got a couple of other ones, they're just the kind of the things that not many people, uh, you know, tinker around in, <laughs> did you get it? Not many people kind of play around with those ones, so I think it'd be good to uh, give it a go and see what we can come up with with those guys. I, I, as far as kind of production wise and things go, I don't really think they're designed for that, I don't think they're really designed to, uh, you know, Damn, did I get hurt from stepping on a bee? <laughs> yeah, I don't really think they're designed to do mass production like uh, like like IC2 and Thermal Expansion and Buildcraft are, but they're still pretty cool and fun nonetheless. So if we can kind of get into those early, especially Darkcraft, then it means uh, we can kind of, uh, you know, get on with those as quickly as possible. And then we can move on to all the big things. But forestry uh, is going to be our main source of power, I think. Yeah, that's probably a good way of doing it. Oh, we got bad guys around here, and I'm pretty hungry. All right, let's have a bite to eat. There we go. Okay, right, we're going to have a sleep. Then we're going to make our door. We're going to kite this bloke, because I can't stand skeletons. Oh, he still got me. There we go. All right, this slime can just disapparate for two secs. I am going to bed. Mr. Slimy Guy. Yes, I am. I'm going to have a lovely sleep in my bed. And then we're going to crack on and make ourselves a coal coke oven. Yeah, we're going to do that because that's the thing we do. Uh, can we grab... Should we take out all our stuff and start getting it cooking? I think that's probably a good idea. Yeah, so get you cooking. We've got any more? We've got some more coal. Uh, we've got, so, uh, we've really, we're, we're desperately in need of getting a new energy source, so we're going to have to really get crack a lacking with that pretty soon, I think. Yeah. Okay, right, let's uh, make this new door, shall we? So, we're meant to be using bark. 
a secret, is that secret, did it say secret tunnel? <laughs> or secret door, secret tunnel? All right, we need, uh, I need to make another axe, don't I? Let's make another axe. Beautiful. Cool beans, All right. Oh, that's actually really cool. <laughs> I love it. Oh, this guy is just not going to give up, is he? I'm going to have to take him down. Yeah, we're going to have to go, have to take him down. Okay, right. I actually really like this door. That is so funky. <laughs> Check it out. Love it. I can barely see the thing. Okay, right, let's go grab us some sand. We're going to use our shovel because I don't want to go wasting the energy on my power fist. And the shovel just, you know, just grabs it so much easier. So if we get some sand, then we can uh, go ahead and make all the uh, blocks that we need to make our cold coke oven. And then we can start cracking on with some machines. I have a horrible feeling as well that Olga is going to come back and give us some real hassle for taking all her... Uh, Taking her bark. I'd, if I was a tree, I would be very unimpressed with that. So sweet. Wow, we've actually got a lot of sand now, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, we got quite a bit. Should we take a little... We'll take a snazzy bit more. Just a little snizzle, if that is a word. We can take a little snizzle bit more. And uh, that should do the job. Yeah, that would do it. Cool beans. Right, let's go check our stuff out. Hopefully it's still in the chunk loading vicinity and has done some loading, I hope. Otherwise it's going to be a stand around jobby and no one likes one of those. Actually, if we got to stand around, I guess we can make some machines. That's probably a good idea. If we make some machines and then uh, everything will be well. Nope. No, hey, I didn't even hit you. Why are you getting all aggro with me? It's because you're chilling under the tree, isn't it? You're, you're just chilling under the tree, getting all anxious and excited, and then you popped. Cool beans. Right, let's throw some of this stuff in here. So we don't want you, we don't want you, we don't want you. Should we plant some of these? I think that's a brilliant idea so we can get some stuff for growing. Yep, they've been doing the thing, so I'm impressed about that. We should probably have our farms around here so we can come and get some things. So if we try and get these along here. There we go. You've got to be a little bit careful because this actually shades a lot of it, which causes issues. So we'll go along here as well. Uh, once these guys have grown, it should be pretty much renewable because we can build them on top of each other because I'm pretty sure you can build them on top once they've fully grown. Uh, yeah, there is a way of doing it. I don't know if you have to do it with blocks. No. Oh. No. No. We, I think we have to wait for them to fully grow, because I don't think that guy's anywhere near fully grown just yet. But we'll plant the rest down the side here. There we go. And then we'll wait for these guys to do their thing. And we should have a nice renewable income of food, which is very nice. And you know, living off berries and things is a good way. It's a good way of doing it. And we can make some bowls of berries as well, which is pretty funky, I think. Can we have a look? Let's have a look. Is there a, a bowl or berries? Oh, there we go. A berry medley. An irresistible combination of berries. Blackberries, raspberries, and blueberries. Or we can mix them up. Yeah, so we can have malaberries as well. Pretty funky, I think. Yeah. Right, let's make some of these and see if we have enough to make this guy. So we're going to need our sand. And should we bring the recipe up in here? It's probably a good idea. So we need our cold coke oven. Uh, let's search for coke, actually. That's probably easier. Yes, it is. Bam. Take a load of these guys. Let's just take these. See if that's enough. Probably isn't, but could be close enough. And we'll build this guy just around here. Yeah. Oh, that was a mistake. Ah, oh, a little bit short. A little bit short, but we'll get there eventually. Ah, 
There we got another two. We still got a while to go. So while it's doing that, I think it's probably a good idea that we uh, get cooking with some things. So should we cook up some of our gold and our iron, uh, and that way we can get a actual furnace on the go. So we're gonna want a electric furnace, which is gonna be good because this will allow us to do some things. And we do need a powered furnace, so we need bricks for this as well. So maybe we should use some of these bricks quickly so we can get our powered furnace on the go. There we go. We got just enough to make these guys. There we go. There's one and two. Brilliant times. Uh, we need another machine frame, which is iron, glass, and gold. How much of this stuff have we actually got? Uh, mm, we've got the iron, got the glass. Um, we haven't got any gold, but I did manage to cook up some pulverized gold, which is good. And I don't know if this is going to cook it for me. No. I really do like the slag furnaces, but they they do make life a little bit kind of awkward now and then. Alright, we'll do that. You guys can go in there. You can cook some of this up for me. Great success, giving us a little tinker in a gold. And I'm pretty sure we need a redstone reception coil as well, which is going to need another piece of gold as well. So we need two bits of gold to do that. We'll grab the rest of these guys. Let's go throw them in here and make this. Is this right? Nope. Looks like it's sand. Let's try this. Yeah, that does it. Good times. Alright, we'll make another two of these guys. So we've almost got now. We've got four. And we've got the gold that we need. Now we need some redstone. So we'll make one of these redstone reception calls first. There we go. Brilliant. And we'll make ourselves uh, this guy next. There we go. Brilliant. And we got our bricks. We need some copper. Which I'm sure we have some copper lying around because we had tons last episode. Unless we used it all. Oh, we might have used it all for wires. Yeah, that was it. We used them for wires. That was the one, wasn't it? All right. We can get some more of this stuff. Let's just throw it in there. Hey, it's all right. I know we'll only get one, but it's fine. So that's going to do that. Should we uh, get rid of some of our doors and things that we don't need? So we don't need you guys, do we? And you're actually a modded item from Darkcraft. So you can go in here and do your thing. We should have enough of this copper now. Yep. Looking pretty funky. And now we should be able to make one of you. A powered furnace. Beautiful. Lovely jubbly. And I want some of the gold to carry on cooking as well. So let's get some more gold. Yummy yummy. And this guy can go in here. There we go. Brilliant. Alright. And I'm going to change it around so on this side it's the output. Yeah. So that way all the stuff goes into here and it can do its thing. Which is, you know, always pretty cool. Now we need a way of power in this guy. And as we've done with this, I think it's a good idea to do stuff that's kind of uh, starting energy. And that way we're not going to be using too much coal up to do that. Because our force engine seems to be lasting for absolutely ages. And I really like it. So let's go with something else that's kind of really starting game. So that way it gives you a good idea of how to, you know, of how to get energy going nice and early without having to do too much, which I think, in in all fairness, is a really good way of doing anything. So we're going to start, we're going to make a clockwork engine, and we'll probably very quickly come off of using the clockwork engine, but like I said, it gives you a good idea of what you can use. So to do this, we need a clock first, so let's make a clock, and we'll just do one of these guys. There we go, a little bit of redstone in the middle, brilliant, making one clock. And we need ourselves a piston. Have we got iron? I have got iron. We've got stone. Gonna need some wood. Some regular wood. There we go. Brilliant. And I should be able to just shift click this guy to victory. Yep. And glass and wood and a copper gear. We're gonna need a gear as well. So should we make a gear? We've got stone gear already. Let's make one of these. Gonna need a little bit more copper as well though, so should we get this guy cooking? I think that's a good idea. We'll get some copper on the go as well. Get a little bit more copper. Brilliant. And our sand and all that stuff's good. Let's see how much more of this we got. Let's make some more of these coke things. There we go. Brilliant. That gives us nine of these guys, so that's probably 
enough to do it. If not, pretty close. Oh, we are four short. Four of the little guys short. <laughs> we'll have that finished in no time. Sweet, right, so we got our copper. Now we should be able to make our clockwork engine. Yeah, and these guys are great. Like, early game, really, really good. Really good. So, let's get ourselves one of these guys. There we go. One copper gear. And now, we should be able to finish this guy up. Yeah, sweet. One clockwork engine. And you guys can come out of there. You can come out of there. Hmm. We'll probably need a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more. Just the tandem. And this guy can go and face here. Brilliant. So now we can wind this guy up like a boss. And we're going to need to put a... Uh, we could put like buttons and things on it, but it's a lot easier just to leave it as it is. And he's going to build up power in here. So he doesn't do too much. But if you do this and wind him up and get him to red, then you can start doing that. But you have to be careful because if you go too far past red, it will actually start hurting you. Which is pretty bad because you can actually die from this bad boy. So you've got to be a little bit careful. But he'll hold his charge once he's wound up and he'll do his thing and make all his good stuff. And we can go ahead and put like our uh, iron stuff in there. And that will start cooking up for us as well, which is brilliant. And we can stop now and then. Charge it back up and let it do its thing. And it just holds its charge very nicely. You can see that it's actually gaining more charge than it is to losing charge at the minute. And uh, we'll just warm it back up again. Brilliant. And he'll do his thing for us, giving us a nice amount of, uh, of, of powered furnacing. Powered furnacing is now a word. <laughs> and doing that, we'll throw it all in our little box for us. So at the minute, we're not actually using any coal for any of these guys, but we will be very soon using coal for them, because I want to go ahead and um, obviously make the coal coke oven, which is going to help greatly. And I said we needed four more, didn't we? Let's have a look. One, two, three. Oh, we're so close. We literally need, like, we need one more, and then we're done. There we go. That should be it. All right, let's throw you in there, and bam. Sweet, it's giving us four of these. Right, should we have a little sleepy bites? Because I don't really want to go messing around with my furnace in the middle of the night, in case all the little creepery guys and ender dudes decide to come out and have a wander around, which is <laughs> always fun. And we'll just get on top of here. Yeah, there we go. See, told you, he's a coming. He is a coming. Stay back, young one. I got my sword. Oh, we got ourselves a head. Nice. That's going to do brilliantly in my in my in my trophy room that I am yet to build. Yeah, one creeper head. Nice. Should we put it somewhere? Let's put it here. Ooh, that looks very menacing. Sweet, right, so we've got this guy. He's built. You know he's built because the multi-block structure has made these cool little uh, little windows on the edge. And that looks very nice. And now we can go ahead and put our coal in there. And that's going to go ahead and uh, transform our coal into coal coke. And it will also give us a byproduct that's called creosote oil. Now, creosote oil is a little bit useful. You can use it for things like making rail beds and rail tracks and stuff like that. Um, ooh, it's uh, doing its thing. Yeah, you can use the cryosote oil for doing that, but I've never really found much of a use for cryosote oil except for that. So I normally find myself void piping a lot of the cryosote oil out because I find that I just don't need it. And have we got enough stuff to make a void pipe? Because I might actually just do that now. What do we need? We need waterproofing, which we can do with beeswax. Is there any easy way to make these guys? Yeah, we can do it with these. Nice. And we need a void transport pipe, which is glass, redstone, and ink sacks. Wow, that's really cheap. <laughs> really cheap. I actually thought we needed obsidian for it, but it turns out we don't. So let's grab one of these guys, and I'm just going to void out all of the rubbish that we don't need. Because, you know, we will get a lot of cryosote oil. And the problem is, if it, if it gets full of cryosote oil... You're then not going to be able to make any more cocoa because it will kind of stop itself once it's done that. So we'll get this doing its thing. It does take some time though, so you've got to be a little bit patient with it. But what you get out, the return you get out of it is quite nice. So yeah, always a good idea to get one of those going as early as possible. So we needed some black dye, we need some glass, and we need some redstone. So I've got glass, I've got redstone. 
Have I got any dies? We could have. Yeah, we've got our black ink sack. Good times. So this should be enough to make one of the void pipes. Yeah, there we go. Brilliant. And have we got enough to make another one? Let's have a gander. Actually, we should probably be able to transmute this guy. Yeah, there we go. Cactus greens. Cool beans. There we go. One void transport pipe for the win. And our additional one can go up into our kind of chest up here that has all of our kind of mechanical gizmo jobs in it. Now we need a way of actually transporting it out. So we should probably make ourselves. and if we've got any iron on us, because we're going to need iron. Uh, we've got some stairs on because we? we're just making it with this guy. And the good thing is you can always just kind of come along, give it a little tap like that. Get it up and running into the red and go and do his thing. See, we've got 22 iron and we used zero coal for that. Pretty funky, right? And I was actually expecting when we went outside to play with our coal coke oven to come back in and that guy would have stopped working. But even though he was almost done, he wasn't totally done. He was still doing his thing. So we're going to make ourselves a redstone engine. Just a very simple redstone engine. And we are going to need some sticks for this. So let's grab some sticks. We'll grab a load because we always need tons of these guys. And uh, we'll do this. Yeah, make a load of sticks. Brilliant. And where has it disapparated to? Somewhere around here. Redstone engine. Oh, there you are. I see you. Need another piston. And... I can just shift click it, make it easier. Or not. <laughs> or not. Doesn't want to do his thing. Alright, we'll do this. Cool beans. Right, there's that. A little bit of redstone. Oh, I see why I didn't shift click. Because we haven't got any wood in there. No, we haven't. Let's do that. Cool beans. Right, so now we should be able to shift click it. Yeah, there we go. We can make all the pistons. Yummy, 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 yummy. Cool, right, so there's that one. And now we need glass and that, and we're in good shape to finish this guy off. Oh, yes. Is that brilliant? And a few of you. Bam. One redstone engine. Yeah. I probably gonna need ourselves a uh, one of these guys as well so we can actually operate it. Cool. Right, let's see if we can get this guy to pump straight out. Oh, we, might, we might need a wooden transport pipe as well. Let's give it a try, see what happens. Probably going to need a wooden one as well, but hey, we can only hope. So, we want to plonk this guy on the top. There we go. Nope, definitely going to need a wooden transport pipe. That's fine. We can do one of those. We have the power. So, we need some glass and we need some wood. Giving us, say, wooden transport pipes. Brilliant. This shot, this like this stuff should be child's play for anyone who does any of this sort of stuff. Really, for anyone who's been around on my channel for longer than like three, four months, this should be child's play stuff. So nothing really taxing going on here. But we'll do that. We'll do that. Hmm. Oh, we need a liquid transport pipe, don't we? Yeah, we do. If we got any more of the, let's go grab ourselves a rose red, and we can do this. Yummy, yummy, yummy. There we go. And you can go in there. You can go in there. Ooh, let's turn them into an actual die first. That will probably help. Cool beans. Come on. Give me what I need. Yeah, there we go. Brilliant. You can go in there. Do my waterproofing. Uh, with the wooden ones. Cool. Sweet. All right, now we should be able to go ahead and do it. <laughs> And we'll just jump on top of here. Lovely jubbly. So, the water ones can go there. Brilliant. You can go on top, sit there and look all cool. You can go there. And you can go there. Brilliant. And that should get rid of all the crowds oil that we don't need. There you go. You can see it will be sucked up and disappearing. Because unfortunately with this, we haven't got Zycraft and we haven't got... Uh, an easy way of making tanks except for railcraft tanks and you know they're pretty expensive so we'll probably 
hang off from using those until we've got everything else kind of sorted first but at least this way we're going to get a load of cold coke and you can see we've already got a little bit coming out so you know we're not doing too bad and as we uh, as i kind of go off doing my things it's going to be making them as long as we have a way of chunk loading it and i'm sure we will soon yeah we'll probably have a good way of chunk loading it soon we've got loads of this stuff as well yeah good times sweet all right, so like we're doing, we're doing pretty good now. Doing pretty good. I did want to check before we finish though, if there was any other additional things that we can, uh, you know, get cracking with. As far as, oh, this man is still going. He is a legend. Come on. Yeah, there we go. I want to see if there's some other things that we can put on this guy to make it, you know, extra cool. So we've got a roto tiler, which is an automated t t oh roto tiller, an automated tilling add-on to make it easy to till large swaths of land at once. Lovely job, you. We've got a lux capacitor, which needs glowstone and iron. Uh, launch a virtually infinite number of attractive light sources at will. Huh. That's pretty funky, right? I like the idea of that. We need glowstone and iron. Huh. I really like that. Is there an easy way we can get glowstone here? Let's have a look, shall we? Um, hmm. I do know one easy way to get glowstone, but it could be a slight mission. Can we do this? Yes, we can. There is that. I'm going to turn this back into this. Give me these guys. And we got a seven. Almost there. It's eight. Right. Let's go make ourselves a nether pool. And we can quickly run that, grab some glowstone, and then get our anuses back. And make one of these guys, because I've heard about these, and apparently they're really, really cool. So we'll make the uh, we'll make it here for the time being, but I am in no way intending on keeping it here. Because uh, it just it's going to look ugly. But hey, I do want to get there quickly. Check this guy out. So we'll do you, and we need... Oh, we need two more. Two more bits. Uh, let's just go chop down some wood quickly. We can do it right now, actually. That should do it. Cool beans. For the aesthetics. <laughs> I couldn't leave one side field and not do the other. That would have been horrendous. Alright, hopefully we've got some flint uh, lying around from some of the creepos that we've uh, explodeard along our missions. I'm sure I will do. Yeah, there we go. There's some flint. And have we got some iron? Mm, no, but we've got... Oh, did I see a little bit there? No, still. Uh, we've got some cooking upstairs, which is nice. Doing this thing. See, 39. 39 from free energy. What a legend. What a legend. So let's make one of you. All the way around. Yeah, there we go. Flint and steel. Brilliant. And we're going to make our way to the nether very quickly and grab ourselves. <laughs> grab ourself a quick bit of glowstone. I think that's a plan. That's a thing. That is a thing. Haha, <laughs> sweet. Alright, hopefully we're going to get a good spawn as well. I just want a tiny little bit, and then we can finish the episode off once I've played with some of these guys, because they just sound so cool. So cool. Okay, we are well and truly... <laughs> We are well and truly in a cave, but hey, no worries, we can get out of here. we got the Shovel of the Earth Mover. Isn't going to work down here, is he? Okay, right, we'll do this. Like we can get out this way. Yummy, bit of never quartz. Hey, here we go. Brilliant. Where is the glowstone? There it is. 
Should we put a marker? I think that's a good idea, actually. Let's put a marker down. Uh, waypoints. New waypoint. Let's add one. And we'll put this as portal entrance. Cool beans. Nice. Oh, look, the force comes here. I didn't know the force came in the never. That's awesome. That is so cool. So cool. Now, if I got my cobblestone, I have, because we're going to just tube our way up. Yeah, we're just going to do that. We're going to stack a rag. Yeah. Oh, who is that? Who is that? Oh, I keep forgetting, but we have Natura here, so everything's going to look really funky and nice. <laughs> Completely forgot we had that here. Right, let's get stacking. How are we doing? Almost there. Ah, oh, all the glowstone. This I would class as a early, uh, an, an, an early never. Yeah, definitely an early never. I, I generally don't go here until I have either a jetpack or some form of way of killing things in case everything goes a little bit mental. But hey, it's all right. We got a load of this stuff. So we'll grab all these guys. Make our way back. We will make one of these light things. See how funky they look. And then we'll call it a day, I think. Because it's been a good episode. We got a lot of stuff done. At least I like to think we got a lot of stuff done. Hello. <laughs> you snorty guys. Oh, this guy doesn't look very healthy. Oh, I don't think I have anything to attack him with. He's got like millions of health. I'm going to just run away from this one, I think. Yeah, I'm going to mess around with these guys. Please, guys, leave me alone. Cool beans. Right. On our way home. Just a quick pit stop in the never. Don't mind me. I'm just doing my thing. Just doing my thing. Okay. Here we go. Well, that wasn't actually that bad of a never spawn. I've had much worse never spawns. That is actually pretty good. Pretty damn good. It's nice to have your uh, never gate actually underground or at least I find it is because that way you've got a very low chance for getting blown up or uh, losing it because you can just have one doorway going to it which is pretty good wow this fist looks really cool with the steel armor <laughs> look at my little red shoe sticking out the bottom lovely right so what we need we need glowstone which is gonna be in my bag somewhere probably in this one no it'll be in my miners backpack yes there we go and my iron oh no not you and you and this should allow us to do this. So we wanted these guys, a Lux Capacitor. Cool, so this guy has been installed. Now I know we can, if you hold down shift and roll your mouse wheel, you can switch between the different, uh, different, different kind of methods. And we have shears and we have these guys. So now, oh, look at how cool that is. Oh, that is amazing. That is too cool for school. Like, way too cool. Should we put some outside where it's actually dark and see how much of a difference it makes? Oh, that is insane. I'm just going to lay some of these guys around. They look so cool. We've got, <laughs> we've got a skeleton jockey riding a slime down there, doing his thing. He doesn't even care. So we can put down pretty much infinite amount of these, and they're not actually using up too much AD. They're using up, what's that, 64.2... Well, they're using 0.1k every time I throw one down, so we can just literally spam these guys, but not too close, because that would just look a little bit silly. Nice! Alright! I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, my. No, no, no! Ooh, that was close. That was close. <laughs> Alright, guys, so it looks like I've got a little bit of work to do before we, uh, before I actually head off for bed. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. Nope. No, no. I hope you guys have, guys have enjoyed the episode. And as always, I will be back for another one very soon. Hope you guys have a very good, uh, a very good week. And, uh, you know, do all the things that you want to do. But I will see you guys soon. Have a good one. And goodbye.